What's going on, everyone? My name is Dylan, DSR Knowledge, and today we are going to be doing some Valorant Omen tips and tricks. So basically, I have just spawned into a custom game with the timer stopped, infinity abilities, all that. I just want to show you a few things. Um, certain things we're obviously going to know. People that have been playing for a little bit, you'll definitely know some of these things, but um, some of the things you might not have thought about yet. So if I can show you anything at all that's new, that would be awesome. Um, so first thing with, with Omen that a lot of people are going to know by now is I have it binded to V. Most people have it binded to C. I don't know. I come from COD where C is crouch, and I just kept hitting it way too much. Um, your short teleport ability, you obviously can get on top of things that like come Raze on, and Jet would be able to with their, their jump abilities or like their boost abilities. Um, so yeah, obviously you can teleport from different things like this. You can teleport on top of most of Sage's walls and stuff like that too. Uh, most people are going to know that by now. Um, but there's a few things about that that I uh, would would like to go over. Obviously, if if you're coming here and you need to cross and you think somebody's peeking that, you can obviously cross lines of sight. But now see what I when I just teleported there, whenever you're aiming, so basically, let's say let's say uh, somebody's to the right of this box and they can't see me here and I want to teleport here. If I aim left, when I come out of that teleport, now I'm already aiming here and ready, versus if I go back here and I just teleport straight in looking at the box, I'm gonna be looking at this box. So you get a little bit of an advantage there. And uh, a good example is there's a couple a couple start rounds that I like to try and TP and get into a corner, especially on like pistol round. I'll come here and normally this is walled off and they're walled off at hookah there. So I will push up here, and a lot of times you can hear me pushing up, but they don't hear me TP over here. And if they do, they're not paying attention because they want to come out thinking that there's going to be people standing here or right here. So a lot of times you can get easy picks behind people, and now vice versa. On this side, you're blocked off here at Hookah, and people are going to be there. Now you can do the same thing where I've TP'd over here, I turned and looked already, so I'm already waiting. And a lot of times you can just be sitting here with a shore, you can get an easy kill or two. If the whole team pushes, you know, you might want to have, you know, a ghost or something like that pistol around, but it, it all varies. Um, now, another thing with uh, his V ability, obviously here you can get from here, and then you can go back over, all that stuff. Most people know about it, but you can also still, if you have an orb, and we'll talk a little bit about this orb here, um, put an orb down there, you can still V key over into this orb and you're still on top of this box and that also works with your um, your X teleport from anywhere on the map so this this has pretty good range you can see in the top mini map like here I'm aiming at um, the teleporter there you can you can in fact teleport into you can X teleport into the, the teleporter without making noise My ultimate is ready. Um, so if for some reason someone's camping in there I mean typically they're gonna see you but if they're really not paying attention or if people are pinning them down you might be able to pull off a TP behind them or something like that, but it's kind of a nice way to get into something like that without them maybe seeing. Um, but again, same thing with my short TP, how I could TP into a box. There's specific times that, you know, I, it's it's sometimes it's very situational, but you can pull off a teleport into your orb that can help out. And usually what I would say is, is throw down two orbs before you're going to use that if you're trying to TP onto a site or something where you think there's going to be people watching because you can usually throw people off like say say I'm coming over here and I think somebody's watching in there or I think somebody's watching in hookah so I'm going to see you can see that blue triangle here it's it's going to go into the ground it's red now so it's going to go end up um, if I throw that it's going to end up in the ground and you're really not getting any use out of that you get a tiny little bit that's popping up there because you can go through walls, you can go through ground, but you see like it's going blind. down into the ground. Nope, that was a blind. But yeah, it's not going to help you. Obviously when it's blue, it's going to land on the ground. Now you could aim this thing way up, and you could freaking, you know, stun way up onto that thing there, and that's putting it. It's going to fall down because it's blue. It's going to land on whatever the closest flat, you know, box is that it can hit. I think it's hitting a little, little ledge there or something. But... Essentially, this triangle lets you know. So that's super helpful. Like, you're trying to come over here. If you aim it way up here, it's still going to fall down. So maybe you can use that to your advantage if you want a little bit of time to peek or something like that. Um, but usually, you know, if you're coming here, you want it to go down. You can aim right at that triangle, and that's going to give you that fastest. Once it orbs up, it's already where it needs to be, and you're good to go. 
So with knowing how that blue triangle works, you know, you can come over here and say, you know, say you want one on top of this box. If I can get it to angle up. Maybe I can't get it to angle up. Like here. Okay, say we want one on top of mid here, and we also want one in hookah. So now we're now we're distracting people, and we know we just TP'd on here. You can see the gray orb on the thing. Or not TP'd. We know we just orbed onto that, basically smoked it off, and now I'm inside my smoke, and obviously with omen smokes, they're hollow, so you can see through the center of them. You can't see through the edge of the walls, but you can see through into the center, so if somebody else is in it, they can see through it too. It's not just the omen character that can do that. So that's also an important thing too. There's a lot of ways to tactically use that. I mean, there's a lot of different types of pushes you can do where you just try and use this TP and try and use your, you know, your corners and stuff to get behind people, like off of a push. A lot of people will be chilling in here, here, you know. So, I mean, there's a lot of different ways to use your X ability to try and TP behind people, but comboing that with, you know, um, different kinds of abilities and stuff like that. You can try and flash somebody and then TP out if you're in a bad situation. Usually if you can, or not flash, but blind somebody. Usually if you can land a blind on somebody, they're not going to full-on push you, so then you can TP out of that, and that could be just a short TP back around the corner or something. And again, trying to turn your camera out of your short TP so you're already aiming where you need to be aiming can be super helpful. Um, yeah, I think I think that's everything on here. I did see a clip once of somebody taking one of these specific TPs on, um, on bind here, and they basically... I don't know how they did it. I don't know if I can perfect it or if it was a, a specific deal, but I saw somebody once use their, their short teleport and then hit that, the big teleport, and they were able to TP out of it somehow. But I, I don't know. There. So kind of like that. You could, you could bait out a TP like that, too. Um, on this specific map right now, it's the only one that's got its own teleporters, and everybody hears that noise, so they think, hey, he just TP'd over to A, but in reality, you're back here, and you could, you know, if you're in a 1v1 or 1v2 or something, they're going A now, thinking that, hey, he just went to A, he's going to be trying to plant there. A lot of different ways, a lot of different mind games you have to play in Valorant, but, um, you know, this is just some of the stuff that you can use with Omen. Omen's definitely not the most overpowered character but at the same time, there's a lot of useful useful things he has, especially, you know, the blind ability is kind of underrated. It's it's tough to really get it down because it takes time to get there. Omen's abilities take time, so you're not going to just straight up orb that and expect, oh, they're not going to push through because I orbed it. They're going to be already out around this corner by the time that goes down if you're sitting there standing there. So that's why I like to push this off the rip, get that down, and then if I'm worried about them coming coming from TP, then I'll then I'll orb this off, put it right in the center of the door, stuff like that. So I mean, it, it all varies on what you're trying to pull off. There's a lot of different strats, I have no hand, but you know, that's pretty cool. Cool looking knife. I don't know what happened to my hand. I don't have a hand anymore. I think it's because the, the bomb went off and I'm in the infinite round mode. That's kind of funny. What if I, what if I TP? Will I get my hand back? Is ready. That's another thing. You can you can long TP on top of boxes, obviously too. So this specific one, you know, unless you're there's certain circumstances where maybe that works out for you, but obviously that's going to be more uh, more circumstantial than than your normal your normal stuff. Um, I don't know. Just a few things. I already realized that I've been kind of repeating myself and stuff like that. I think I think I hit all the things I wanted to um, go over as far as small little tips and stuff like that. Just to give you guys a little bit better, uh, you know, better odds of picking up some kills if you're playing Omen. Pick up some strats, do some nice things, help you improve, help myself improve. Obviously, I am not the best Omen player by any means. Just uh, just a few, few basic things that I've learned um, from playing. Oh, I... I I think I was, I totally forgot, but yeah, like here, if you, instead of orbing that right away, you could, you could try and blind, because usually you are going to catch some people coming out of that with the blind. If they're really quick on it and they're pushing full force, you're going to aim more towards the front of the door, but I try and get it in there, because a lot of people will just chill and wait, either here or here, so I try and get a kind of general, general aim there, so that way, you know, if I do want to just push in, I can give it a quick peek before I want to key over and do something like that, but yeah. Anyway, 
This is uh, Knowledge's tips and tricks on Omen in the Valorant closed beta. I mean, I suppose some of these things are subject to change, but I don't know how much stuff is really going to change with um, with Omen specifically like that. I feel like he's fairly well balanced. I don't think there's anything too crazy, too crazy OP about him or anything, so I think most of the stuff should stay the same. But if it doesn't, I'll update you guys. You know, thank you very much for watching in these trying times. I, uh, just doing my part, staying inside, taking care of everyone, trying not to go out unnecessarily or anything like that. Um, with everything going on, it's crazy, crazy times we're in. But, um, appreciate you guys watching. Thank you very much. Subscribe. Dear God, please subscribe. If you are watching this. I need you to subscribe. I need you to. I need you to watch the videos. Like I don't I, you know what? If you want to just leave them run as long as you're watching them and then click on another video. Click on a, I, I sorry, I way up my face. Click on another video. There should be some on the screen, hopefully if I did this right. I don't know. I'm I'm still trying. I'm trying to get to be a better YouTuber or better just video maker. Click on the video. Click on them. Drop a like. Subscribe. Did I say subscribe? I said subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. As always, you know it. Deuces.